Hi, welcome to Oma's Kitchen. Let's make an old-fashioned Baltimore favorite, Black Bottom Cupcakes. You will need a 12-ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips, a couple of blocks of cream cheese, an egg, some water, cocoa powder, oil, And yes, this recipe includes vinegar. The vinegar and the baking soda are the two things that get together and make your cupcakes rise. This recipe calls for two mixtures. Mixture number one is for the cream cheese and chocolate chip filling. Mixture number two is for the dark chocolate cupcakes. Let's start with mixture number one, the cream cheese and chocolate chip filling. It helps to let your cream cheese sit out on the counter for a good hour before you use it. You need it to start to soften up. Put it in a medium sized bowl and mix it around a little bit. This helps loosen it up so you can add the other ingredients. This does take a little bit of work. Then we will add a half a cup of cane sugar. a half a teaspoon of salt, and one egg. I like to open my egg into a bowl first and then mix it a little before I add it into the cream cheese. Mix this together well and it will take some time and effort to get the cream cheese to mix with the egg and sugar. Mix until all of the lumps of cream cheese are gone. Sometimes I even use a fork to get the last to mix in. Now pour your whole bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips into the cream cheese mixture. Blend together well until they're distributed through it. And that's it for mixture number one. You'll want to cover it over with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator until you have the rest of your ingredients together. Now let's put together mixture number two, the fudgy cupcake bottoms that give the cupcakes their name. In a very large bowl, you will want to mix three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. You will notice that I mix three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. It's because I live at altitude. Because the only leavening in this recipe is the vinegar and baking soda mixture, it's very susceptible to changes in altitude. If you live above 3,000 feet, change the recipe as I wrote on the screen. We will add a teaspoon of salt. two cups of cane sugar, and a half a cup of cocoa powder. 
I find that my quarter cup measurement fits down into the container of the cocoa. It makes it easier to measure it because cocoa powder wants to turn into smoke and fly everywhere. And the last of the dry ingredients is a teaspoon of baking soda. My cupcake batter comes out better when I whisk the dry ingredients together well before I add any of the wet ingredients to make the batter. Once it's well mixed together and looks like brown sand, I measure out two-thirds of a cup of canola oil. Two cups of water for the standard recipe, one and three-quarter cups if you live at altitude. I add two tablespoons of vinegar to the water. The oil goes into the dry mixture first. Then I add a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Finally, the water and vinegar mixture goes in. And that's it. That's all the ingredients for mixture number two. You will want to mix all of this together well until you get a silky batter that doesn't have any large lumps in it. And you'll see bubbles in there that's the reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar. Mix the batter well and it's nice and silky. Once you have it mixed, cover it over and then start to prepare your muffin tins. Line your muffin tins with paper or foil. I'm actually using both. Now's the time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's mixture number one. We got that out of the refrigerator and we're going to use a heaping teaspoon. That'll be our measurement for mixture one. Mixture two, we're going to use a heaping tablespoon as our measurement. Scoop out as much as will fit onto a tablespoon and push it into each muffin cup with your finger. They won't seem very full, but they will puff up in the oven. Once you have measured the black bottom dough into each of your cupcake liners, you will want to take a heaping teaspoon of mixture number one, the cream cheese mixture, and just push it on top of the black bottom dough. And then leave it sit there. This is how they will go into the oven. I find this measurement works well. A heaping tablespoon for the black bottom cupcake and a heaping teaspoon for the chocolate chip and cream cheese mixture on top. When you have both mixtures in all of your cupcake liners, bake at 350 for 20 to 22 minutes or 345 for 24 minutes if you live at altitude. And here they are, fresh out of the oven. They smell so good. Let them cool for 10 to 15 minutes on cooling racks before you try to get them out. I slide a butter knife down the outside of the liner and pull up to help me lift the cupcakes out of the tin. Let them finish cooling on the cooling racks.
Your whole life? Yeah, I, I don't have any <laughs> memories of years where you didn't make them. These freeze very well. I freeze them a dozen at a time and get them out a couple days before Christmas every year. Keep them in the refrigerator. They have cream cheese in them. It's a, such a Baltimore classic. I grew up with this. Aunt Betty made them all the time. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I know those are one of your favorites, aren't they? They are. They really are. And there you have it, Baltimore Black Bottom Cupcakes, a Christmas favorite. Thank you for joining me in Oma's Kitchen. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll upload more tasty videos soon. And a special shout out to Moon Pie and Lil Bit. Till next time. Oregano.